How to remove billing address from Shopify checkout. Hello everybody and welcome to our channel WebWiz. Today you're gonna learn how to remove the billing address from Shopify checkout. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So I'm here with this document because precisely this is the document that your customer is gonna receive when he get the item. So for instance, this is an example for an AB and glasses, mid-century longer, and it has that it's gonna be delivered from the shipping, I mean, like company. And this is bill two, this is the name of the customer, real biller, and the company, and so on. And at the bottom of my document, there is my store, and I created this fake uh, address whose name is Web Street, Web Wiz House, Web Wiz Colombia. There is my email, and okay, that's what that person is gonna receive. And another one is the people who needs to complete, like, I mean, in this same document, the name of the company and also the address. So we're gonna learn how to delete that from the checkout. So first of all, the easiest one is here in your Shopify, go to settings, and here we're going into shipping and delivery. Oh no, sorry, checkout, checkout. That's the first one. So you must to scroll down a little and there is the customer information. So there you're gonna find the full name, the company name, address line, and the shipping address phone number. So here you have the option to don't include the address line number two and also the shipping address phone number, okay? So they recommend to be optional, but obviously you can select this one and here, I guess it is better also the optional, but it's your decision to don't include. That's why you are in this tutorial. So in that way, this is not gonna be in the checkout, okay? And also, if you want to delete your address here at the bottom of the document, you must go into shipping and delivery, okay? You're gonna find this menu, so you must to scroll down until you find this option, packing slips. So I'm going into edit template and you're gonna get this HTML code. So I really recommend you to select all the code to make a copy and to paste it into a Word document or a text file, whatever do you find it better. So in case you make like a mistake here, you can fix it just by replacing the new document with this old one because there's not an option to go back into the default setting. So I recommend you to copy and paste it in a different document, okay? But after you have done that, you must find this part. Thank you for shopping with us. Precisely in this document, this is what we're looking for. And at the bottom, there is the shop name, the shop address summary, the shop email, and the shop domain. So you can delete all this if you want. By now, I'm just going to delete the shop address summary. You must click on save and you can click again in preview template. I guess the changes has done, yeah. So there is, if you want to delete the space there, so you must to delete just this, save again and preview the template. Let me see. Okay, there's still, I guess I must to delete these two, the BR, and save again. Yep, that's it. That's what you can do. Obviously, you can delete all the shop email and so on, but I really recommend you to let the customer like contact info so they can talk with you for any inconvenience, okay? So that's how you can do it. Obviously, as I told you, there is no default settings. Oh yeah, revert to default. Oh, thanks God, revert to default. In case you want to fix that and wants to get the default document again. 
And that's how you can remove the billing address from your Shopify checkout. Thanks for watching.